Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I am a fourth year, second grade teacher, and I am doing a home tour today. If you follow me on my other platforms, you know that me and my husband are in the process of selling our house and moving to somewhere that's a little bit closer to his job. I just posted a pretty important life update in my last YouTube video. So if you missed that, go ahead and watch it. But long story short, I resigned from my second grade position and I'm going to start looking for a new job once we find our forever home. Right now I am in our first home together, the home that I bought in 2020 when COVID just first started. I was 22 years old, I believe, was living at home my whole life and just knew that I didn't want to rent someday. So I was able to find this for a really good price. That was three years ago in June. So this month, three years ago, I can't believe it. Um, I lived in here with my sister and another friend for the first couple of years. And then back in September, my now husband moved in with me and we've been here ever since we got married and we love the house. There is literally nothing wrong with this house besides the fact that it's a duplex. And we just feel like we're gonna want something with a little bit more privacy when we start to have a family, which is not yet. So please don't speculate. <laughs> we are not starting our family yet. Just wanna get ahead of it and start looking for our forever home or at least our next home before we begin having a family or get surprised with a little one on the way. Um, we also wanna move a little bit closer to Bobby's job. So we're five minutes away from my parents and hour 15 from his. We are 25 minutes from my job right now, an hour from his. And ideally, because he already works such long days, it'd be nice to get him at least 20 to 30 minutes closer to his job to make his commute shorter. So we don't know what town it's gonna be in necessarily. We have a couple ideas of what towns we want to live in, which ones are the nicest, most affordable, um, good school districts, and put us in a good spot between both sides of our family. However, we don't know where the Lord's gonna take us, so we are just trying to be patient and flexible and focus on one thing at a time. Right now, that one thing is the house that we currently live in. So we just had our open house today and we had professional cleaners come for like five hours this morning. The house still smells so clean, I can't even believe it. I am obsessed with the smell and now I'm feeling like I'm gonna be bougie and have cleaners come to our new house like every two weeks because I would love to live like this. <laughs> But um, I thought this would be a great day for the home tour because it's the cleanest it's ever gonna be and it's the most empty it's ever gonna be. Um, I plan to also do a vlog and a video on us moving because I feel like those are always really fun to watch as well. But until then, let's start with the home tour. Right now we are in the living room and I'm just gonna flip you all around so you can see what you see when you first walk in. All right, so when I walk in the front door, this is exactly what I see. I see the stairway leading up to the second floor. I see a glimpse of the kitchen, I see a glimpse of the dining room, and then I see our beautiful, spacious living room. We had some other things on the wall in here, but we minimized it just to these two big paintings, I guess you can call them, wall art. And then we also kept this little hook over here and this mirror. Hey guys. <laughs> we also have this cute little bench down here for shoes. We typically hang our keys over here under this mirror and this is where like jackets and purses go. That is the door to our basement. I'm not taking you down there because it is creepy and I don't like creepy basements and I don't like our basement. So <laughs> not gonna take you down there. It's dusty, musty, crusty. The Amazon packages are not part of the decor. I just grabbed those on the front step so I can take those with us. I'm about to go back to my parents' house. We have a showing in two hours. It's 5.30. We have a showing in two hours, so I'm going to skedaddle out of here. I said to come and drop off groceries. Um, but this couch used to be on the third floor. I got it from a brand deal. It was like a really expensive couch. I want to say it was almost $3,000, and we had a $500 Facebook Marketplace couch. And so when we knew we were going to sell, I brought this one downstairs, and the other one we got rid of. This is a Facebook Marketplace coffee table, Facebook Marketplace TV stand, Facebook Marketplace disc chair, which I think these are, I think it's called the Papazon chair actually. This Papazon chair was from Facebook Marketplace, but it was like almost brand new. I think it's originally from Walmart. This lamp I wanna say is from Walmart. And then this couch was also Facebook Marketplace. Um, and he was Facebook Marketplace. I think this was Savers. And that might've been TJ Maxx. Not that you need to know where everything is from, but um, 
I got the curtains for my wedding and they're like UGG darkening curtains. I love these. We are taking these with us. And then the TV, you don't need to know where the TV is from. I bought that new. Um, so yeah, that's a rundown of the living room. We did not do much to stage this. This is kind of what it already looked like besides declutter, you know, the TV stand and our coffee table. Like I said, took a couple different things down off the wall and mainly just moved this big couch from the third floor down to the first floor because it looked a little bit better. This is the color paint that the house came when I bought it and I loved it. I just love how bright it is. I feel like all houses now are a boring like gray or beige or white and I just loved the pop of color in here. Okay, moving on to the dining room. It's a pretty standard dining room. It's pretty small. It really only fits this table with the six chairs, but I actually stole the look of this from the original owners of this house. When I came to tour it three years ago for a private showing, they had a table exactly like this, and I was like, I want exactly that. It just fits really nice in this room. Again, didn't really update anything in here as far as paint. Just had a couple, I think that's from Michael's I think this is from Hobby Lobby. I just liked that the blues matched. The house actually came with this really pretty chandelier and I think we're gonna leave it for the next owners. Moving on to our half bath on the first floor. I absolutely love this. You'd think it's wallpaper, but somebody actually painted this. It's just so cute. I love the stripes. Um, this little doohickey is from Amazon. We had a really big one here from Facebook Marketplace, but it was just not as cute. So. She suggested we downsize to something a little bit smaller and I got that. It was pretty affordable. Um, washer and dryer, we're gonna be most likely leaving for the new owners and that's fine with me because they're paid off and they're a couple years old. And then over here, we kept up this wall art also from Hobby Lobby. Nice, cute black rimmed mirror. And then just a sink and a bath and a toilet. Just a sink and a toilet. Nothing super exciting, but really like the location of this half bath. I like that it's in the back of the house. It's not like a forefront. And I like that we have one on the first floor and the second floor. Here's our kitchen. It's like my new favorite room in the house ever since we got these cabinets painted. Bobby did all of this himself. They used to be a hideous black color and they looked really rough. So the fact that we were able to get these painted for the open house is such a blessing. It looks so much better now. Also, the cleaners really did their magic in here because everything I touch is just like so clean. I feel like the kitchen is the part, in my opinion, that gets the dirtiest because I'm just going to close this. Otherwise, I might forget for when the other people come. Um, I feel like the kitchen is like the grimiest. It's the hardest for me to clean, but they did such a nice job. We have a dishwasher. We have this little island that I got off of Amazon. We have our microwave and our black fridge. I'm pretty sure we put in the um, listing that they get the fridge as well. So that's exciting for them. It's also only a couple years old. I'm not going to take you all out back, but you can see our shared backyard. Um, we have our own little private patio over here and the neighbors is on that side because it's a duplex. We have a shared backyard, but the garage and all this from the side over is ours. And uh, yeah, we love it. It's definitely enough space. We just want something with more privacy for wherever we go. All right, now I'm gonna take you guys up to the second floor. On the second floor, we have a full bath and three bedrooms. I guess I'm kind of glad that I came back here between because I don't know how long our water's been running. It's not like a crazy run, but it was dripping. And then our like detachable shower head it was falling down. So I don't know what was going on there. And now I actually can't get it back in. What the what? Did somebody like mess with it? Okay. Moving on. Something I really loved about this house when I bought it is that it has a pocket door. I had never seen one of these before or like know anybody that had one. So I loved that this was a pocket door. Um, I absolutely love the decor in our bathroom. It might be my, my favorite wall art that we have. All of it is from Hobby Lobby. I just love this one. I feel like it matches really well with this. And we have a beautiful closet. I will show you, but please don't be alarmed. It doesn't normally look like this. We just have a lot of stuff in here right now because we had to hide so much. So it's not normally this jam-packed, but it has a lot of storage, which I really like. And then for additional storage we need in the bathroom, I have this little 
number that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And then we also have some under the bathroom storage as well, under the sinks. I love the double sink and uh, our shower has never been so clean in our lives. I know I'm probably not supposed to show people showers. That's kind of gross, but the cleaners just cleaned it and it looks beautiful. Also the floating shelves for our shower are from Amazon. This is basically a home tour slash everything I buy from Amazon and I'm here for it. All right, so after you walk through the hall, on the right is the bathroom. As soon as you walk past the bathroom, here's the master. You guessed it, where is my mirror from? Amazon. Just love Amazon. Love it. Um, my dresser. Somebody was looking through our drawers. Ayo. Um, the dresser is from Target. We got that for our wedding. And our bed frame is from Target. We got that for our wedding. The bedding is Target. These pillows back here are Amazon. This pillow is the paper store. This blanket is Target as well. The bedside tables go with the dresser and those are Target. And these two matching lamps that are a little more industrial looking, those are Amazon. So we had to cover, we had some pretty ugly holes under here from, I don't know what, because honestly, I never hung anything there. So it must've been from the first house, but with a lot of the holes in the wall, we covered them up, we plastered them, spackled them, we repainted. But with this room, since there wasn't a lot that needed to be repainted, like honestly, there are just a couple holes here little scratch there the realtor was like you know what just cover it up like people aren't gonna not buy the house because of a couple holes so we just covered that I feel like it looks kind of funny like it's kind of a weird spot to ha to hang something but it is what it is little trash can that's the master bedroom with our beautiful two-door closet unfortunately there's not enough space in here for me <laughs> and I'm sure people opened it up and were like whoa girls got a lot of clothes but what can you do in our future house in a perfect world i will have a walk-in closet but unfortunately almost none of the houses that we've looked at that are in our price point have a walk-in closet okay this is not a super massive room it's pretty moderately sized and it looks even smaller because our bed is massive it's a king there's that and then I have two spare bedrooms in the second on the second floor um, this one used to be my sister's room when she lived here we transformed this into a guest room I just have a dresser here nightstand twin bed and then this little extra storage back here and then this is where Bobby's clothes go because I don't have any room for him in our guest room almost all the rooms have ceiling fans which is awesome we don't use them that much but it's nice to have the option and then next to this room is the workout room. So I keep my treadmill in here. I keep my extra shoes. This is where I film a lot of my social media content. I have all my other workout gear over here. And then this is another closet. Again, it's really jam packed right now because we had to hide everything. And the last place is the third floor. So we're really lucky to have this space. I found out that the around 1400 square feet that our house is listed at does not include the third floor. So when I bought this, it was used as a playroom for the previous family. It has this office when you walk up and I don't really utilize the space except I keep like extra school supplies here, printer, there's a filing cabinet, all that jazz. So this is a really great space if you were somebody that was gonna utilize it, I just didn't. So I kind of like kept clutter up here. And then this used to be the playroom that I was just talking about. It was carpeted when we bought it and we ripped all the carpet up, repainted the walls, added a bunch of new furniture, and here it is. This is attached to the wall and it's from Walmart. I think it's really cute. It's kind of like a makeshift desk. I used to have a Cricut, that's where I would keep it. All of these cube storages, I think were originally from Target, but I got them from Facebook Marketplace. I just loved that it all matched. So I got a six cube, two two cubes, and a four cube. I just loved the consistency. This Papazon chair was also a Facebook Marketplace find. This rug, I wanna say was Marshall's maybe? Fig plant, I don't know. That cute little desk, I wanna say was Walmart maybe? It's been a while. The lamp was Target, I know that. And then this is a futon from Walmart that I've had for years ever since I lived at my parents. 
Um, Bobby did all the flooring. We got that from Lowe's. It was just like the snappable vinyl flooring and it turned out really good. I feel like it elevates the space. So this house was listed as a three bedroom, one and a half bath, but apparently my realtor said a lot of people were asking why it wasn't listed as a four bedroom. So the house is like around 1400 square feet. And I found out that the 500 square feet up here does not count as livable space, which is like crazy because it's like so this is totally livable. Sister actually used to have her bed up here when we first moved in rather than the second floor bedroom. So it is totally livable space. I guess it just doesn't count. Um, so it's actually closer to 18 or 1900 square feet total counting the space. That is the end of the tour though. I don't want to make this longer than I have to. And I also want to get out of here because I'm like, I just would feel so awkward if somebody shows up to look at this house while I'm here. So anyway, that is the end of the tour. Like I said, I just showed you the backyard through the window and I didn't want to show you the basement because it's creepy, but let me know if you guys have any more questions about the actual like selling process. Like I said, our open house was today. We have two private showings today. One already happened. One more is happening in about an hour and a half. We have one tomorrow and one Tuesday. Um, our realtor said that all offers are due Tuesday night. So hopefully we'll have all of them in by then. We're not sure how many we're going to get, but we had about 20 plus people, like 20 plus parties show up to the hour and a half open house today. And my realtor has been getting a lot of phone calls. So it's getting a lot of traction, a lot of buzz. But like I said, um, or actually, I don't think I said this part yet. There is not a lot on the market right now in this area at this price point because it's a duplex. So it's way more reasonably priced. And in the town that we live in, the only other like available housing that's a single family home is like 150K over what we're asking. So there's a huge price gap between what we are offering versus what other um, houses in this town are offering. So we're hoping that it stays that way because anybody that really wants to live in this town is going to hopefully do whatever they can to get this house. But I love you all so much. Hopefully I'll have an update for you soon. Um, update would include like if we sold the house, when we are closing and moving out, where we'll be for the summer because I don't think I've updated YouTube on where we're gonna be living while we try and find our next house and just the moving out packing up process. And once all that comes to a conclusion, then I'll start to be able to talk more about um, what I'm gonna do as a teacher next year. But I love you guys so much. If you have any more comments or questions, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can always reach out to me on Instagram. My handle is underscore big heart little minds underscore. Um, follow on TikTok, follow on Amazon. If you liked anything that you saw today in my house and you weren't sure where it was from, just DM me or go look on my storefront because let's be honest, most of the stuff you saw was Target or Amazon. Love y'all. Have the best day ever.